There's a story in 1 Kings chapter 3 where these two women both had babies three days apart. And one of the women in the middle of the night rolled over and suffocated her baby. Well, she woke up, took her baby, and swapped it out with her, her housemate's baby, and she took her baby. Well, the other lady woke up and she found her child was dead. But she, in the morning, she looked like, this is not my child, this, this ain't my baby. So they argued about whose child was a living baby, who was the dead baby. Well, they were brought before Solomon, who was going to judge between the two women. And they both were arguing, saying, this is my child, no, this is my child. Well, Solomon said, hey, bring me a sword. He's gonna take the sword and cut the baby in half. And when he got up to do it, the first woman said, no, do not, cut him. Do not kill the baby, give her the baby. The other lady said, yeah, kill him, cut him in half, because that way neither one of us have a baby. Well, through that, Solomon knew who was the real mother, the woman who did not want the baby to be killed. She was willing to give up her child so the baby would at least live. Well, the people in Israel was amazed about his wisdom. Solomon had great wisdom. The Bible says Solomon was the wise man that ever lived. Well, you know what? I believe we can get wisdom too. The Bible says in James chapter 1, verse 5, if we need wisdom, we can ask of God who gives it generously. And I think one of the ways he answered that prayer of us asking wisdom is us learning from Solomon in the book of Proverbs. Most of the Proverbs are written by Solomon and there's so many great things of wisdom in there. So I want to invite you to join me starting August 1st to go through the book of Proverbs. Now we have two different Bible series, two series on wisdom. The first is called 31 Days of Wisdom, A Journey to the Book of Proverbs, where we're going through a different verse of the Bible, a different verse verse in Proverbs to get wisdom. The second series is the same thing, but it's called Get Wisdom. It's one I did a little bit earlier or later in life, but you can learn the same thing. So pick one of those series to go through every day in the month of August, starting August 1st. That's a great way to go back to school, go back to work. Someone's had a great summer off, but we need wisdom. So students, join me. Parents, join me. Hey, families, join me. Do this, one of these series, 31 Days of Wisdom or Get Wisdom, because I think we all need wisdom. Even if we never have to judge between to figure out whose baby's whose, we will find all kinds of struggles and problems in life that we need to apply wisdom. So join me for 31 days starting August 1st and get wisdom. Oh yeah.